What's up, you frickin' thrifty turds? Yeah, I know it hurts. You didn't want the edgy content, you shouldn't have clicked here. <laughs> Guys, in all seriousness in this necessity, this, <laughs> we're gonna talk today about how to make beard oil. A ton of people request this video, don't know why, but people do. The process of making beard oil is very simple, but I can maybe walk you through it and give you a few tips on how to do it that you might not have known that I have from experience of kind of making my own. Now, let's run through what you need to make beard oil. Number one, you're gonna need some essential oils, right? You're gonna need some for scent, and you're gonna need some as carrier oils. Now, everything I use in this video, I will link down in the description below. Um, it'll be Amazon links, so I'll get like an Amazon affiliate commission. If you use my links, so I get like 3% of the sale or something. So if you found this helpful and you wanna use my links, much appreciated, but you don't need to. There's always like, these hippy dippy natural grocery stores that you can find around that will carry stuff like this where you don't have to wait. I mean, it's still, it's like one or two day shipping, but I mean, it saves you the waiting process. Uh, but these essential oils are gonna come in varying sizes. You can get sizes like this in this vitamin E bottle. You can get sizes like this. You can get sizes like this, or you can get sizes like this. So depending on your budget and how serious Ness you are about making your own beard oil for a long period of time. Um, you could buy the bigger amounts and save money, um, or you could buy the smaller amounts just to try it out and see if you like it before making that investment of buying that big bottle of oil, you know? All right, other things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some containers. These are glass containers. These are like what I use for the beard meds right here. These are two ounce oval century amber containers. Um, this is like a typical round container. Um, and on top of that, you have choices as far as how you wanna dispense the oil. You can use like a traditional, um, these are called orifice diffusers. This right here is gonna be like your typical dropper. This right here is a really cool method. It's like a little squirt top, squirts out. Or you could just take it, throw a cap on it like that, and whenever you wanna use it, you just pour it in your hand and go. Now again, I'll try to find everything on Amazon, link it down below for you to make it convenient. Um, now let's talk about the scent oils. Um, so one thing you can do is you can buy a box like this. This is from Anju or something like that. Let me open it up here. And this is just like a box full of a bunch of different scents. So the one I picked, I picked this one to buy for this video because it has bergamot and it has, let me see, cinnamon and it has one other really cool one. It has frankincense in it, right? Alternatively, you can buy individual scents, like this is vanilla. This is agar wood or oud. A lot of people want to ask about where I get this at. This isn't real agar wood, okay? Like the stuff that's in beard meds that, um, that Artius Man uses, that stuff is expensive, expensive. This, you can get some fake agar wood that still smells really good. Um, you can get it for like 20 bucks or something like that for a bottle like this. Um, and a little bit goes a long ways with that, of course. This is sandalwood, but again, like sandalwood or the agar wood, those, those real essential oils with the scents in them are highly, highly expensive. And kind of the point of you doing this is probably to save money, right? So if you wanna buy the essential oils that are just like knockoffs of those scents, no harm, no foul. Another thing people like to do is like how you get the cologne scent. You can buy bottles like this. This is our impression of Aventus. So it's like a Creed Aventus type smell and it smells just like it. And this is just an oil which contains the Creed Aventus scent and it just has a open top lid on it like that. You don't wanna get the ones that are like the applicator roll on ones because they're gonna have a ball. You're not gonna be able to get that out of there. Um, but you can find, I'll link some of these down below if you have like a favorite cologne scent you wanna go for. These are really cool if you wanna scent your products as far as cologne scents. All right, what else do you need? You're gonna, Rockstar, you're gonna need a Rockstar. <laughs> these beakers you don't need. I actually spent like 20 bucks on these just for show for the video. You don't need stuff like this. What is gonna come in handy a lot is one of these. This is like a condiment container, whatever you, you put like ketchup or mustard in. Um, what it does though is it has this nice wide opening that you can pour your oil in and then you put this lid on and then when you wanna fill your bottle, you just go like this. Otherwise, you're gonna be sitting here with your finished product trying to like tip it in there and you're gonna make a huge mess. So something little little $5 container like this, four or $5 container goes a long way to help. So you know what? Let's make some beard oil. And since we have the glass containers out, let's use them, you know, just for fun. Okay, a few things to keep in mind with oils. Um, there's gonna be mainly two types of oils that you're, two grades of oils that you're gonna find when you're looking online for these. One is gonna be cold pressed, two is gonna be expeller pressed. So cold pressed is literally just like a stamp and they are, pressing the oil out of the, the seed or the nut. Whereas expeller pressed is like more compressed and it produces more heat, 
basically it's it's cold pressed because it doesn't apply the heat to the actual seeds and the oil, which helps it retain a lot of its nutrients and antioxidants and stuff like that. So cold pressed is better, but it's not a necessity. You don't need it. A lot of a lot of big brands that you've used or you like don't use cold pressed oil. Some do, a lot don't. This right here is cold pressed and this is sweet almond oil. I like sweet almond oil a lot. Um, what you can do when you try to figure out your essential oil, your base, your carrier oils that you want to use is just look up the, the the benefits and the properties of each one, right? So like the sweet almond oil is good. Uh, one that's kind of unique right here is going to be castor oil. Um, here I'll show you the difference between castor oil and a regular type of oil. Let's pour some sweet almond oil in here. Now let's pour some castor oil in this one. Here's your sweet almond oil right here. And here's your castor oil right here. Did you notice the difference? This castor oil is super thick and super viscous. So it's like a, it's like almost like a maple syrup consistency. So if you want a little weight and a little heft to your oil, as well as making it last a little bit longer when it's coating the hair, cast, I would recommend castor oil. I love castor oil. RDS Man uses it. Um, that's one of the reasons why one of, they're one of my favorite brands. So check out castor oil if you want like a thicker blend. Another thing you can do is grab some vitamin E oil. This one right here, it has rosehip and jojoba in, in it. So it's gonna contain a lot of vitamin E, which of course is great for your skin. And it's gonna have jojoba and rosehip in it. Rosehip is actually a really cool ingredient. Now vitamin E oil is just something you kind of put a little bit in where you it, it shouldn't be like your main ingredient unless you want it to be. Right here is some grapeseed oil, another great oil. Um, it's just kind of a general purpose oil. It's gonna be about the same viscosity as your sweet almond oil. I'm gonna put some of that in there. And when you're measuring these things out, uh, these beakers are kind of helpful a little bit because they have the measurements on the side. So uh, about 30 milliliters is gonna be one fluid ounce. So right here in this container, I have about 100 milliliters. So that's gonna be about three fluid ounces. Um, whereas this one I have maybe 20. So this isn't even gonna be a full ounce. So let's add a little bit more, um, let's put some jojoba oil in there. So right now total, I have about 130 milliliters, which is about four ounces of oil. And I'm gonna be adding some essential oils, but I'm gonna throw them into this container right here in the main container. Oh, I spilled. That's what you get for trying to pose for a thumbnail. Let me get some paper towels. All right, let's add a little bit more castor oil since we spilled some and a little bit more jojoba oil like that. So right now we're sitting at around 140 milliliters, which is a little bit over four ounces. So this will be definitely enough to fill two two ounce containers. And that's what we're gonna do. And I'll, I'll just give those away. So if you wanna win one, just I'll pick the funniest comment, two of the funniest comments. You gotta live in America, you gotta live in USA and uh, that's it. They'll make a funny comment about living in America and I'll pick the two funniest and I'll respond to you and I'll send you one of these bottles right here for free. All right, so since you don't wanna go too crazy on this stuff, you wanna add a little bit at a time. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this Creed Aventus in here, just a tiny bit like that. And I'm gonna wanna mix it up. Let's use this little dropper, this glass dropper to kinda incorporate it in there. Um, let's, just, let's just have a smorgasbord here. Let's throw some bergamot in there. A little bit of sandalwood. Throw some frankincense in. That's probably too much. <laughs> I probably over scented it already. And then let's put a little bit of oud agar wood in. Let's mix that up real quick. Get the old finger in, rub it in the hand. That smells, that smells pretty dang good. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. Love vanilla, smells great. And then I'll put a little bit more oud in, I think. Because the smell was not as strong as I thought it was gonna be. So let's add a little bit more in there. Let's put some more oud agar wood in there. Really, la really landed in thick. Let's mix it up. Throw a little bit on my fingertip, rub it in. That smells good. I like that a lot. And there we go, it's all mixed up. Now we're gonna put it in here. So all we do is use a little pour spout on the edge of this. And pour it on in, just like that. Screw the lid back on. Let's fill up some containers. See how easy that is? One more. Look at that. 
two little perfect bottles. Isn't that dope? So that is in essence how to make beard oil. It is very, very simple, it's very easy, and it's gonna be very cost effective. If you're trying to save some money, you don't wanna spend, you know, up to, you know, insane amounts on beard oil sometimes. You can make your own at home, you can make your own and sell it. Um, there's a ton of different ways that you could utilize this method. You can just make it a strictly for your personal use. Again, you could sell it, you could make some money on the side. Once you're at a point where you're, if you're like buying a big gallon bottle or something like that, you're spending about a buck or two, if that, in actual material that goes into the beard oil, right? Containers, it's different. So some of them will cost like around a buck. Some of them will cost a buck 50 for containers. Your lids are gonna be maybe 10, 20 cents a piece. Now these are two ounce, so the ingredients will cost a little bit more than a two ounce, but your standard one ounce bottle, you could easily produce a beard oil in one of these for around two to three bucks, finished, out the door, ready to go. Another way this is helpful if, is if you're in some country where um, a lot of the beard oil manufacturers, a lot of the companies are here in the US, I mean, there are some abroad, um, but if you're in some random far away country that is that you can't find anything locally or somewhere that's gonna ship to you for a reasonable price, you could just make your own beard oils. And then you know what you could do? I guarantee there's other people in that country that can't find it either, and you can make beard oil and sell it in your country. I'm giving you guys the inside hustle secrets. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. If this is your first time to the channel, you can hit subscribe, you could uh, hit the like button if you like this video, you can comment down below, you can, like I said, you can uh, comment down below your favorite living in America joke, and I will pick one, two of you and send you each one of these bottles right here. I'll just ship it out to you free of cost. You just gotta, I'll get your email or something like that, and we can go from there. But yeah, guys, that is all. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.